beauty lies in perception. Straight or curved, black or white, abstract or concrete. Beauty lies in a state of mind, light or dark, open or closed, likes or dislikes. Beauty lies in finding perfection. Most of all, beauty lies in imperfection. Cola Bold Art powered by Pecha Kucha, an engaging chit chat that delves deep into the world of art and architecture, travels to the capital city, New Delhi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're delighted to have all of you here tonight on the fifth anniversary of Cola Bold Art Picha Kucha. What began as a fun forum of interaction with the architect community five years ago has grown leaps and bounds in the years since. From an attendance of 34 in the first Picha Kucha to now 600 in the last in Bengaluru, this truly has become a unique event with beautiful memories made along the way in these five years. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is even more special as we have the president and CEO of Kohler Company, David Kohler, with us. So a very warm welcome to you, David. And I'd like to invite you, David, to please come up, as well as Salil Sadanandan, the president of Kohler Kitchen and Bath for South Asia, the Middle East, and Sub-Saharan Africa for a short very short chit chat. I'm really delighted well, that David, you're here. Um, I'd like to begin by asking you about the association that Kohler has had with art over the years. Tell us something more about that. Life without labor is guilt. Labor without art is brutality. Right. And that, that idea really has formed the ethos of our company in terms of our appreciation for art and our appreciation and the importance of design and how art and design are related. So we're, we're very intertwined with the arts uh, in everything we do. And, and this is an example of bold art is how do we take that idea and, and bring it internationally? So thank you so much, thank both you. of you. Okay. So we're gonna have Picha Kucha. Thank you very much, you. Uh, both of you. We've been here in India for more than a decade. And in keeping with Kola's affinity, uh, for the arts. Tonight we will we'll be celebrating design and hosting a dialogue between you and the six skill masters that we have. Our theme is beauty lies in imperfection and we're all curious to know what our panel of six thinks about it. So as usual, we use Picha Kucha's simple concept of uh, an informal and fun sharing of creative ideas, works, thoughts, it could be just holiday pictures, uh, just about anything really that comes to their mind, but all in a 2020 format. So let me set the dice rolling and invite Kola India's Director Marketing, Sandeep Singh, to make a brief presentation. And our brief to him is to do it in Picha Kucha style. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you see, my passion for driving cars has always been high since my childhood and I made many unsuccessful attempts at my dad's Jeep, but that's not the point. The imperfection is that my aspirations have always ran ahead of my capabilities. Our country is full of chaos, and if you visited Chandni Chowk, you will find out not only do we love it, we actually thrive on it. I'm not joking. They even tell the unsuspecting passengers to visit Parathewali Gali on the flights landing into Delhi. So, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to roll the Kola Picha Kucha Delhi Edition and find out what our six skill masters think about beauty and imperfection. Let's begin with Jyoti Rat. With more than two decades of acquired knowledge, it adds value to projects through its research and advisory services. Ladies and gentlemen, Jyoti Rat. think we ever design something saying I want to make it beautiful but I must admit that I don't think consciously also one says I shall make it imperfect if you took a problem and you said 
So it has, let's say, 10 variables. And you, unfortunately, have to prioritize one of them. You have to put them in some kind of order. So the fact that you lift one variable as number one makes all the rest imperfect. So you'll, you can't have something perfect. So thanks to uh, Google and Wikipedia, we, to help you, realized that uh, we had to see beauty a different way. We had to see beauty as what we see, what we smell, what we taste, but you also see the reverse the same way. I also realized at the end of it that it seems to be that we are actually seeking imperfection. You know, once we tick off the list and we say this is perfect, it is of no interest anymore. Glossy furniture, lovely stuff, the Italians came up and then we started seeking crack tables, you know, distressed uh, colors. I mean, now walk into a restaurant, this is what you see. And you realize that we like this imperfection. We thought that order was beauty till we discovered that uh, maybe these things are making us feel a lot better. Ceramic manufacturers worked so hard to just make sure that everything was perfect. Now they work so hard to make sure they're imperfect. Look at dance. I mean, there's so much perfection. There's so much rhythm created. I mean, look at the two last images where you begin to see this Odyssey performance and you see Ranbir Kapoor. And but which is the one that's giving you, which is actually making you smile? I, I don't think the first one makes you smile. You look at what people look at and what happens to a milk packet, what happens to a tire, what happens to... And you discover that within waste, within whatever's happening, you're discovering that there are ways to discover beauties. We seem to discover a story called perfectly imperfect that makes us happy. When you, when you go there, you lie on, you, you're in this place that is not so perfect, but you feel good. So I think it's time to redefine what is beauty, if the purpose of beauty is happiness. Thank you. So Jyoti, you ended with this perfectly imperfect uh, slide. Could uh, human art have gone a different way and made it imperfectly perfect instead? Actually. Uh, beauty is quite transient, transient, it's impermanent and that is what becomes beautiful because it changes. Anything defined, you take off the laundry box, boring. Thank you very much, Jyoti. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is Amit Arora, who together with his classmate from School of Planning and Architecture, Rahul Bansal, founded DCA Architects in 1996. Amit's expertise lies in designing for the longevity of the design aesthetic and functionality while being able to create the required balance in design without any excesses of elements. So let's hear Amit Arora tell us what he thinks about beauty and imperfection. Perfection to me is everything around us. Uh, nature did not create anything perfect. Uh, we can't create anything perfect. We are the biggest imperfection that nature has created. But our aspiration towards perfection, which is always the outcome to go beyond what we need to do, to give our best, to try and achieve what has not been achieved before. That whole spirit of uh, human endeavor, of human adventure, not, not to accept that things are given to us, but, but aspire to leave the world a better place. That to me is the search for perfection. So nature has been imperfect as per our definition of perfection, where our definition of perfection is everything should be perfect. Nature has offered us so much beauty, so much beauty, with every, every speck around us being different. But that was not enough for us. And we, 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 started seeking perfection. We started wanting to make everything same. Thankfully, nature did not make us all same. We have been creating architecture, monuments throughout our history. Well, some of the perfect monuments of our past, will we do that today? Will we construct, I mean, imagine a ruler today constructing, using 20 years of our GDP, constructing a mausoleum for his dead wife, whom nobody ever saw, it's just that here thing. This I fail to understand. A photograph which captures, I don't even, I, I find it beautiful because it beautifully captures the, all the imperfections around us, our society, what's happening to us. 
I hate to call it beautiful, but then I don't even know what beauty is. Forget about what perfection is. Another image. Uh, somebody there at the right time took this picture. Perfectly, perfectly captures all the imperfections around us. But what it does to that person who took this picture, the guilt of having taken this picture, the guilt of not helping that child, or the accusations thereof, made him commit suicide. We are doing this. We are dividing people. We are joining them as well. We are dividing families. We are helping them unite as well. And then somebody captures them so beautifully. Again, makes you question. The beauty, perfection, imperfection, it's all within us. So this is our small little snapshot of our studio where we at DCA continue our imperfect journey to look for perfection in this imperfect world, doing our two bits. And thank you. Thank you all. So where does perfection lie then? Because if every definition Perfection of... lies in our aspiration to do something better. So what is perfect today in one context, in one for one person, is not perfect for somebody else. We did not stop at making one beautiful hut and be content with it. We made better and better and better. Thank you very much, Amit. We now have Renu and Robin Mataru. Robin and Renu find joy in combining design, creativity, professional quality, strong ethics, and cutting edge technology to create spaces which are happy and comfortable to be in. So please welcome Renu and Robin Mataru, but I believe Renu uh, has chosen to allow Robin to take center stage, so it's going to be Robin here. I think beauty lies in emotion. Anything and everything which is beautiful will create an emotion in you. I think it lies in perfection. It lies in imperfection. If there's anything in the middle of it, it also lies in that. Actually, beauty has some tenets. And if those tenets are fine in anything, it doesn't matter how vague it is or how different it is put, it will have beauty. I don't know which image is more beautiful. To me, they both are. I think anything which generates emotion into us is beautiful. And there are some tenets of beauty which makes anything beautiful. Take, for example, a line, and you take a beauty able to balance, and line is something which we find very all our life very caught up with to have the imperfect line, but then you have balance and you have this furniture object which is so pretty because of this or you have the painting which is the scratches which just works very well because it's got good balance or you take an imperfection of accident and repetition but you tie up with harmony and you have nature or let's say urban decay happening in terms of rust where just by repetition itself nobody doing anything it ends up doing something quite nice or let's say age we are sending so much money to conquer age or vernacular because it doesn't build up in our normal knowledge of how it, it does. Cracks, we hate cracks. But you put a crack and put light hitting it, and it becomes again into a something which becomes interesting. Anything which generates emotions ends up being beauty. Food also is, 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 a, is a strange category, but it works in a manner that you have funny combination like chocolate momos which are flying off uh, shelves in, in or only say we have vodka and pani puri which itself is a, itself is a funny combination but still they're working in, in in opposite kind of manner and setting creating interest that brings me to end of it that beauty lies in emotion and uh, i'd like to thank you all for listening in. so as architects yeah. do you use imperfect elements to create perfection? The idea as architects or people who seek it is to find those underlying qualities to be able to and make it part of what you do so that it becomes for people to share. You are a medium between the two and that is our role. Thank you very much, Robin. Thank you. Our next speaker is Rajesh Tahir. Rajesh is a brand consultant and design educator, founder of Co-Design, 
an innovation-driven design studio based in Delhi, and has since led its project towards integrated design solutions. So ladies and gentlemen, here is Rajesh Tahir speaking on beauty and imperfections. One thing as a communication designer, you, you tackle with this theme. You always want to twist the theme to suit you so that you don't have to work hard a lot. And I, had, I have real issues with beauty lies and imperfection uh, because I, I, I couldn't digest it. So I tried to twist it, you know, beauty of imperfection or my journey of imperfection, embracing perfection. The middle one sort of suited me, but I thought I'll sort of stray away from that, but that will expose too much of me uh, in public. I tried to get some examples of this imperfection that we're talking about. A uh, few years back, my studio was selected uh, to brand this iconic brand, Royal Enfield. Whenever I get time, I actually go out and observe people and meet people and talk to people. And thankfully, that habit led me to this chap. Today, Royal Enfield has got one of the most modern, finest assembly lines in the world. But this guy is part of the assembly line. And I thought one of the brand values was the Royal Enfield, unlike other Japanese bikes or other European bikes, it respects craftsmanship. We took these stripes and sort of started embedding it in all that we did. This was one of the facade that we designed. You will start seeing it everywhere. I, I don't feel, I, I would hate to use the word imperfection because I, I haven't seen anything more perfect than this stuff. The only way I could sort of define this imperfection and perfection, because for me, I've had enough imperfections in the first half of my life. And I'm really, really trying to sort of become better with these hands. So that's how I can sort of submit that. I, I'm just looking for that. I'm quite fortunate to have sort of can identify some imperfection in the world. Thank you so much. To appreciate perfection, do you think one must have an encounter with imperfection? We are what we are. You know, I, I can't be these wise people. I had enough of those imperfections because, you know, I was not in village all my life, but I knew what was happening in the city. I never thought of the larger picture. I'm really good with my hands now. That's all. No, there's nothing, no deeper statement than that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rajesh. Our next presenter, ladies and gentlemen, is Sandeep Kumar. Sandeep is visiting faculty at his alma mater, SBA, and has been teaching for several years there. He heads the twin studios of Plural Design and Plural IDs, both as founder, director, and design principal. He's also a partner and design principal at Oracle's, a landscape design consultancy firm. So it's over to Sandeep to share his views with us now. Beauty lies and imperfection, this topic is, is slightly contested. A lot of uh, contrasting images where notions of beauty, notions of perfection have been completely misappropriated for profit and, and a narrative built around which is uh, kind of sellable. That is something that troubles me. To me, the title of Catherine Boo's fascinating book on Mumbai's undercity apart from other things, evocatively captures the essential debate, fallacies, and challenges surrounding the many notions of beauty. It cannot be mass-produced to one size fit all. Try packaging imperfectness, no matter how beautiful. Try selling a house on the street in Istanbul, no matter how glossy the paper. How does the idea of the perfect fit in? And Martin Foss, in his seminal 1946 book, The Idea of Perfection in the Western World, defined perfection as the continuity of a reality, as is the conformity of reality to its concept. He argued that a manufactured thing which fully realizes its purpose is perfect. Now, don't we know that every morning? The beautiful and the perfect have become iconic misnomers. Today, the privilege, profitability, 
and remain subsumed in disconnected and superficial form-based instrumentalism. Innovation, bizarre, and the joke often go hand in hand. The beautiful and the imperfect, the someone else, are only bystanders as they watch their world collapse helplessly, but by perfect design. And of course, behind our beautiful backs. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're on to our final architect, Saurabh Gupta, the founder and principal architect of ARCO, who firmly believes in designing climatically and contextually relevant solutions. So tonight, Saurabh will speak on beauty and imperfections. Everything is imperfect, so principally, you know, that kind of works. And uh, I think it's very nicely put in our context because uh, India is always full of complexities and contradictions, and so there are these imperfections. But I think that's its inherent beauty. So it works uh, extremely beautifully, and uh, uh, you know, it's, it's well put. And I'm very, very keen to see how uh, people put their work with it. That's our own studio and uh, an, a perfectly imperfect setting, but extremely Indian, extremely contextual, extremely real. The space is inside. I would always get a comment, when are they finishing? They always looked like the city outside. I was always asked this question about it being a character of an outside space inside, but that's really what our work was all about. This is an ensemble of about 11 monuments in Lucknow. And that's the top of the Rumi Gate, as you see on the shadow. And it's got the Mambaras, the towers, the lakes, and everything together. And here we had the opportunity to again look at this very imperfect reality of trying to do something for the city that has not been done. We've just built a new school in a very old factory. It's a Katha factory. And uh, the idea was really to do something basic, keeping things as incomplete as possible. This is the one shot that I first saw the place and I said, it's the perfect place to put a design school in because if you can think of everything here, you can really try and solve every problem on this planet. And that's the kind of imperfection that one needs to be aware of to be able to survive, to be able to work within as constraints uh, on the job. Thank you very much. Where does, where does beauty lie? In the imperfection or in the perfection? I think the imperfect is beautiful enough. And I think all we need to do is to kind of make that imperfect more visible and more there. So it's really not about trying to aspire towards any kind of a scaling up of the imperfection to perfection. Thank you very much. Thank you.